What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hashtag crypto video. Today we're reviewing SimpleSwap. I've been a fan of SimpleSwap for a while. I've been using it for a while. Uh, two weeks ago, I think I did a video about FixFloat. This is a very similar exchange. Uh, no KYC requirements. It's from any wallet to another wallet and it does cover a lot of trading pairs. Uh, the main reason I started using it is they were one of the very few to offer exchanges for Helium. Um, and also one of the very few early on to accept USDT on a, a Tron network or on a TRC20 network, uh, which I'm a very, very big fan of if you've been watching my recent videos. Uh, and last but not least, they have a loyalty program uh, where you get Bitcoin and, as a cashback. So the more you use SimpleSwap, the more you get swap cashback and then you can subscribe and get Bitcoin cashback. I've already done it once. Uh, I'm just gonna go into my overview. I have a history. I've been converting a lot of USDT uh, to Helium. I've been converting a lot of USDT uh, to Helium or USDT to Bitcoin. As you can see, I have 2,800 swaps, so I could subscribe for a 15 or 0.15% BTC cashback, uh, but I won't right now. What I will do is a new exchange. And by the way, if you don't have an account, you do not have to have an account uh, to do an exchange, but if you want to get that BTC cash back or you want those swap tokens, um, you will need an account to keep track of everything. In this case, I am trading USDT TRC20. I'm going to do 600. And we're going to convert it into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently dumping. Uh, it's a very good time to get Bitcoin. Like, why not? Uh, this number seems wrong. I don't think I'm buying 0 0.6 Bitcoin. Let's see what is fixed rate. There we go. I think it glitched because I had Ethereum earlier. I'm going to do floating rate since it's uh, dropping. Again, for those who don't remember, the difference between fixed and floating rate is uh, fixed is, well, straightforward. It's fixed. It's a 1% fee. Floating rate is... Uh, 0.5%, but if the price of Bitcoin continues to fluctuate, it will buy either at a higher or lower price depending on the confirmation. So when the when the exchange is confirmed, that's when the price gets locked in. And that's why this is an estimate of how much Bitcoin I'm going to get. I'm just going to refresh and... It seems like my floating rate has changed. That means the price of Bitcoin has also changed. What we're going to do here is we're going to enter the Bitcoin address that we want to receive. So we're sending USDT to Bitcoin or sorry, we're converting USDT to Bitcoin. And this is where we want the Bitcoin to go. So we're going to hit create exchange. And once the exchange is created, we're going to have to deposit the TRC20 USDT here. I personally like using the QR code just because it makes life easier. So you're going to go on your phone and do send and put the max amount of how much you want to send. So make sure you're sending the exact amount you listed. So in my case, I put 600 USDT. That's exactly how much I will be sending. I'm going to hit next and send. In the meantime, while I wait for this, I will be doing another exchange. I have USDT and ERC20 that I want to get rid of. So we're going to do 573. 0.89 that's exactly how much I have and we will also be converting that into Bitcoin so it's giving me a bit less because the amount is less we're also going to put the same Bitcoin address create exchange and then we're just going to do the same thing we did QR code paste the exact same amount, make sure to enter the exact same amount, 573 point, oh man, I put 543, 573 point 89, and done, next, make sure to not make any mistakes with your networks, 
and that is it. <coughs> now, the nice thing about some of these exchanges is you don't, in, in this case, you don't always have to have ERC, uh, or sorry, Ethereum in your wallet to actually do the exchange, where in some cases you will have to burn Ethereum in order to send um, a certain amount of money uh, to another wallet. So in this case, I avoided that gas fee, which is super cool. And now we wait. So now if we go to overview, we check our last few orders. Now if we go to overview, we'll have the two pending orders. We have USDT, um, TRC20, and then we have the USDT ERC20. Both are converting into Bitcoin. The, uh, the only thing about Bitcoin, is, or at least when you're converting to Bitcoin, is because Bitcoin confirmations take a while, uh, this could take about 15, 20 minutes. So Bitcoin is generally slow. Uh, however, simple swap is as simple as its name. That's all you have to do. I'm gonna give you a few minutes and then show you what happens when it's confirming, exchanging, and then sending me the money. It's been, I don't know, about one and a half minutes, two minutes, it's already confirmed and it's exchanging and it will be sending it soon. Uh, this is for the first 600 um, I sent. The other one was, let's refresh. The other one was for the Ethereum. The Ethereum one, on the other hand, is in the confirming stages. So once it's confirmed, it will exchange it. This is where it locks in the price. So if you used fixed float, it will lock in the price of Ethereum at this point. Uh, it's waiting for 24 confirmations before it completes the confirmation. Um, so Bitcoin only requires one usually, I think, one or two. Uh, since it's a lot of volume, a lot of volatility right now, Bitcoin did actually beat it. Now it's exchanging and sending, so we should see it very soon in my wallet. And as you can see, finished successfully. Uh, it took about 20 minutes in total for it to convert to Bitcoin. Uh, and that's it. That's how you use SimpleSwap. As always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.